Hey everybody, it's Eileen with KidFunIdeas.com and today we're making a fun Mother's Day project. It's called Let Us Give Mom Roses and the reason it's called that is because we use the bottom half of romaine lettuce to make these really pretty flowers. Um, so you can find this craft in the spring craft section um, called Let Us Give Mom Roses and it comes with all the directions and a template so that you can make the vase piece um, for your project. So for this craft you'll need some ribbon, colored paper for the vase, a paintbrush to do the stems with, and the bottom ends of either celery or romaine lettuce. So, oh, and a big white piece of paper to put all your uh, flowers on. So round up your materials and I'll meet you right back here. Okay, so your directions come with this pattern piece for um, to cut out the vase. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is pick out some colored paper and cut out your vase piece. Then with a, a hole punch, you're gonna wanna punch two holes in the top. Then you can cut off a piece of ribbon and then thread your ribbon through the back and tie it off in a vase, piece, uh, in a vase like this. Then you're going to want to set this aside so that um, we can make our flowers next. So to make your flowers, what you're going to want to do is um, have a grown-up cut the ends off of either celery. This is the bottom end of the celery. Or you can have them cut the bottom ends off of romaine lettuce. And I've already dipped this one in lettuce. If you want to do it twice, you can do the top half and the bottom half of your lettuce. And they both will make a really pretty print. So um, once you have your lettuce and your celery <laughs> trimmed off, choose some paints that you think would be, um, you know, your mom's favorite colors. I'm going to do two different colors. I'm going to put some orange on the pa page. And uh, I'm going to do some yellow on one end, and then maybe some purple and red on the other end to do. There's purple, here's red. Yeah. Okay. So once you have your paint on a piece of, um, I'm just using this paper plate, you're going to want to do the I'm just going to do this upside down so you guys can see it a little bit better. I'm going to move this over just a tiny bit. Um, you're going to start at the top end of your paper and um, dip your dip your lettuce in there. And I'm mixing these two colors together and get it. It gets nice and coated. And then you're just going to just start making stamps. And it's you can turn the lettuce so that it makes different colored stamps all over your paper. Look how pretty that is looks just like a really pretty carnation or a rose. And let's see what it looks like with the um, celery on there. So let's do that in the, sorry, the celery is a little bigger, so it might need a little extra paint. Let's get some, a bigger glob of the orange in there. A little more yellow. Just squish it around. So see, it's nice and coated. So let's see what that looks like. We'll mix these in. Really pretty. I'm going to have to push down a little. That is so pretty. Even the plate is pretty. Goodness. Okay. So once you have your um, flowers, as many as you want on there, let me just fill it in over here. Take a little bit of uh, green paint, or you can do this with a crayon or a marker. Just a little dabble, do you? Because we're just going to do the, the stems. And you're just going to have to estimate just a little bit. You want your stems to come on either side of this area here. So we're going to pull apart that and get our stems in there. Little dab. We're just going to bring it down just like that. Maybe some coming from over there. There we go. All right. And the last thing you're going to want to do is to take your vase that we, we trimmed out and put some glue stick on that and attach that to your picture. Now, ordinarily, I'd let all the paint dry before I did this, but it should just go right on there. And we've got all of our stems inside our vase there. Now, on the um, directions that it comes with, it also comes with a little to from to mom happy mother's day tag that you can um, cut out and attach there so i'm going to do that too all right just 
a little glob of glue on that. Right off to the side. There. All right. So there's your pretty picture. I think it looks really pretty. I think mom will really love these pictures. Anyway, I hope you guys have a fun time this Mother's Day with your moms. And this would be one of those things that they really love to get. All right. Until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.